We've all heard of Google's incredible tool, Notebook LM, a fully free AI research assistant that lets you upload your own documents, ask questions to it, generate summaries, and extract insights grounded strictly in your sources. It's quite powerful because you can create podcasts from your materials, videos, do deep contextual research off of your sources, explore ideas in ways that feel genuinely intelligent, all while being completely free and fully easy to access. However, one major concern for many people is privacy. That's why some users look for open source, fully local alternatives to Notebook LM. And that's where I am going to be introducing Open Notebook. Open Notebook is a fully free, open source, powerful alternative to Notebook LM. It's an AI powered note taking tool, and it's a research platform that respects your privacy. It acts as a cognitive partner that runs locally, and it's designed for researchers, students, and anyone who is looking to enhance their learning capabilities as well as productivity while maintaining full control over your data, models, and workflows. What's also nice is that you can nearly do everything that you do in Notebook LM with Open Notebook, like podcast generations or deep research or contextual exploration, but even better because you have more providers, you have privacy, obviously, but you have more podcast speakers. You can have better context control with three granular levels. You even have custom and built-in content transformations, whereas with Notebook LM, it's quite limited. You even have a full REST API with Open Notebook, and it's something that you can easily get started locally. And just to give you a lot more flexibility, I'm going to be showcasing two different providers. I'll showcase Hyperbook LM, which is another open source notebook LM alternative, as well as Open Notebook. And both of them are really easy to get started with. I'll showcase both installation methods, but to get started with Open Notebook, this is the original open source version of Notebook LM. You'll need a couple of prerequisites, and I believe it is super easy to install this. You just need to make sure you have Docker Desktop installed, as well as your model provider, where you just need to get your API key, because that is something that you're going to need to provide to have this function locally. Then you can go ahead and copy the Docker Hub command to search up this repo within the containers, and you should be able to find Open Notebook. What you got to do then is make sure you have the latest tag, then I want you to click on pull so that you pull this container. And then once it has finished pulling, you can then click on run. Now, this is where you can change configurations like the port, have it hosted on a certain port, but I would like to keep it as this. And then you can also add in your different providers. Now they give you a list of different providers within their docs that you can use. So if you want, you can head over to model provider support, and then you can see which sort of model that you want to use with open notebook and afterwards it should open up directly within your local host 8502 and this is where you have a full on open source alternative to notebook lm that is locally hosted now first things first head over to models and remember how i said you need to make sure you add your api key please do so otherwise you won't be able to access or use the open notebook capability now what you want to do is select your API provider. I have selected both OpenAI and Google. Then you're going to need to add in your language model, your text-to-speech model, your embedding model, and your speech-to-text model to access the full capability of Open Notebook. So simply go ahead and add in your language model by selecting the providers that you had add your API key for. So in this case, if you want to use an OpenAI model, you can do that and then provide the model name. Then after you have provided all of your models, then you can select the chat model. So in this case, I have GPT-5. The embedding model is text embedding three large, and then GPT-5 for the transformation. And then you can also select the text-to-speech as well as the speech-to-text model. And once you have done all of this, you can then head over to create. This is where you can create a source where you can either provide a link and it is gonna be able to extract the contents off of that so that you can use it for various sorts of things within your notebook, whether that's for creating a podcast or just simply asking or searching things through that source. I'm gonna simply go ahead and provide a couple of files. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. 
then within your sources, you're going to be able to manage all of the different types of sources, whether that's a link, text, or file. And you can actually start chatting directly right away based off the content. So the types of videos is a doc that I had provided, which describes the type of videos I post. So I can ask a question saying, what is this YouTube channel about? And then it is going to use the language model and provide an answer based off of it. And just like that, it has provided the answer on what the world of AI YouTube channel is. It even provides the correct sources as to where it found that specific content when it generated this answer. And you can even open it up like you would with Notebook LM. Within Insights, you can actually generate new types of transformations, whether that's a paper analysis based off the context or source that you have, key insights, reflection questions, or table of contents. So in this case, if I want to get a paper analysis, I can click on create and it's going to provide me a new insight off of the content that we had provided. And it works exactly like how you would be able to use Notebook LM, where you can generate various sorts of summaries, different types of reports. And afterwards, you're going to be able to access it within the insights page. You also have details where you can track the metadata. And you can see that it has now generated the paper analysis. And this is where it talks about the purpose, contribution, key findings, implication, as well as limitation. Now you can create new notebooks like you would within Notebook LM. You can add in all of your sources and then you can even write notes up and then chat with it. You have the ability to ask and search as well with the knowledge base that you had uploaded within sources. And then you can also create podcasts, which is really interesting. You have a lot of different templates that you can use, like a business panel or a business analysis, a solo expert, a tech discussion or tech experts. So if you want to use any of these, you can edit it and you can basically configure it based off of your own preference and then you can save the changes. So then whenever you click on generating a new podcast, you can select the episode profile, which is the different templates, and then you can select the sources that you want to use to create that podcast. And it works really easily to add sources to your notebooks. So in this case, if I want to add in all of these new sources, we can then first have it uh, initialized into the notebook. And then you can even add in different notes like I had mentioned. But once these sources have been established, what we can do now is within the podcast tab, we can actually generate a podcast based off of the sources we have within our notebook. Now you can select any sort of profile. Let's actually try out the tech discussion. We can then give it an episode name, add in additional instructions as to how it generates the podcast. But once you're ready, you can click on generate podcast and it's going to now work on generating that podcast based off of the models that we had configured. So this is actually pretty crazy because it had generated a 32 minute podcast on the world of AI, my channel, and it approximately spent 46 cents to actually generate that podcast, which is nothing for a 32 minute uh, podcast. So if we actually go ahead and play it, let's actually listen and hear what it actually generated. Let's start with a blunt framing question. Why do so many promising AI projects stall between it works in a notebook and we can ship this reliably at scale? I want this episode to zero in on that learning to production gap for developers, engineers, researchers, and technical leaders. Totally. And that's exactly who we're aiming at. Practically speaking, this channel acts as tutorials plus reproducible artifacts. Industry trends, new problem solving, hands-on devs. What concrete artifacts should every production-oriented tutorial include? So it is not at the same level as Notebook LM, but you can see that I did a great job in generating a full-on transcript and outline of this episode that talks about my sources. And you can see there are two different speakers. You have the doctor talking about breaking it down and then the other person who talks about what the channel is about. So essentially, this is something that it did a remarkable job, especially transcribing and creating a podcast off of. Now, I know I said this at the start. The other alternative that I was talking about is called Hyperbook LM, which is also another open source alternative to Notebook LM. And it also has a lot of other feature sets that you wouldn't see with what we saw with Open Notebook. This is where it uses other providers like the Hyper Browser, which is used for web scraping. It also uses 11 Labs for better audio. So this is where you would need to clone the repository, go into the repository Hyperbook by using the CD command, then install the dependencies, set up the variables by providing the required APIs, 
and then you can run the deployment server. Within Hyperbook LM, you have a couple of other features that you wouldn't see within Open Notebook. This is where you have the ability to generate summaries directly within the panels. You can generate a mind map as well as slide decks. Essentially, both platforms mimic the same thing as what Open Notebook does, but some feature sets aren't available on one platform, whereas the other one has other feature sets that the other one doesn't have. You're going to need to try out both of them to see which one fits your needs, and then you can easily go ahead and install it with the repos in the description below. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. These are two great options that you can use locally as a free open source alternative to Notebook LM. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.